What's going on everybody? Evan Sentapani here for IFBB AMA. Today I want to talk about cyanide going to kill you. Are you going to consume too much synthetic vitamin B12 via cyanocobalamin that is going to send you to your death? Uh, or maybe more specifically, are you going to consume too much cyanide via Celsius energy drinks and going to fucking keel up and die? <laughs> now, before I dive into the video, let me uh, start by first and foremost saying, uh, number one, I have no affiliation with Celsius. I could care less. I know really pretty much nothing about their brand uh, or their products. Uh, other than what I uh, took the time to research for the sake of this video. Um, those of you who uh, have been following me for a while, you know that I have a long-term uh, relationship and allegiance to animal. Uh, we don't produce energy drinks. I don't consume energy drinks. Uh, I've got no horse in the race here. Uh, I'm just purely interested because a buddy of mine sent me a video where a guy was on stage and he was basically saying how horrible Celsius energy drinks are uh, because they contain cyanocobalamin and because they contain cyanocobalamin, they also contain cyanide and how obviously terrible cyanide is for you. Heard of a Celsius energy drink? Celsius energy drink has four times the amount of daily cyanide that a human being is meant to ingest. Four times. That's just one sample. So drink Monster or Bang. I mean, drink Bang, not, not Monster or Celsius, right? <laughs> bang has methylcobalamin, this has cyanocobalamin. Now, before we even dive into that, let me just say, at this point, if you're supplementing to uh, get extra B12 in your diet, there's no good reason to supplement with cyanocobalamin. You would always opt for methylcobalamin anyways, right? Methylcobalamin, natural cyanocobalamin synthetic and it contains uh, about two percent by weight of cyanide so no good reason to consume cyanide where it's not needed and if you're a manufacturer why use this form of b12 if you don't need to that aside okay has nothing to do with the claims being made in the video that i saw which is basically how horrible it is for you now i don't think anyone is going to debate the fact that cyanide is not good for us uh, nor that we should avoid it when possible and not consume it if we don't have to but that being said when you dig in a little bit and you do the math and you find out that one can of celsius contains six micrograms okay of cyanocobalamin and if cyanocobalamin is two percent cyanide by weight you've got 0.12 micrograms of cyanide per can of celsius is that bad i don't know upon some further digging you find out that almonds uh, on the on the lowest end of the spectrum your typical standard sweet almonds which i'm sure you guys enjoy the same as i do uh, contains, uh, again, on the lower end, about 25 milligrams of cyanide per kilogram. So what that ends up coming out to be is 0 0.025 milligrams per gram. Most of us, we consume about an ounce of almonds at a time, which is 28 grams. So that's going to give you 0.7 milligrams of cyanide in a serving of almonds. What's 0.7 milligrams? It's about 700 micrograms. So 700 micrograms of cyanide in a serving of almonds versus 0.12 micrograms of cyanide in a can of celsius uh you guys do the math <laughs> but that's over five time five thousand times the amount of cyanide in a serving of almonds than in a serving of celsius energy drink last time i checked uh I wasn't concerned. You guys probably are not concerned with the consumption of almonds because you're worried about the consumption of cyanide. So what's the moral of the story here? Uh, there's no good reason to consume extra cyanide if you don't have to. But when you do the math, you realize that this negligible amount of cyanide by way of cyanocobalamin found in Celsius energy drinks uh, is probably not going to do anything to any of us. Again, that being said, why consume cyanocobalamin when you could be consuming methylcobalamin, um, whether it's a consumer or a manufacturer, doesn't really make that much sense as an ingredient. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Anything else you want to see, don't be shy. Don't pretend to be shy. I know you're not shy. So uh, comment below, subscribe. See you guys soon.